Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Luella Miller and I am a Mennonite mom um, located in Holmes County, Ohio and I make videos on motherhood and <laughs> basically whatever I'm doing. Anyways, if you're not new here and you are coming back, um, thank you. Your support means a lot to me and if you're not already then please subscribe and I'd love to have you along. We are going to be working on the kitchen today and we are going to be cleaning. Also I'm going to do redo my black spot. Black splash. Black. Back. I'm also be working on my back splash. I'm going to be redoing that and I did a part of it already. I did half of it. So my kitchen is actually fairly small. Um, this is the wall that you see when you come in the door and then this is kind of back in the corner. Um, you don't see this when you come in the door usually, but <laughs> it's really, really messy. And as you can see, I don't know, can you pick it up on the floor or not? But first things first, I'm going to have to mop. I gave the kids a popsicle and while I was doing some other things and I think they kind of got it everywhere. So <laughs> I'm going to have to mop first and of course pick up toys because I hate stepping on toys. Anyways, I'm going to be redoing this wall. I am going to add a shelf here, take that off, and I'm not exactly sure how it's going to look and what I'm going to do, especially with the plants and everything, but we'll figure that out as we go. And this, I, I don't mind this much here, but it's too messy. I just don't like how messy it is. I need to get rid of these. These all have recipes in them, and all these papers have recipes on them, and so I'm just going to order a recipe book probably off of Amazon or find one at Target or somewhere that I'm going to be um, just filling that all in and hopefully I can get rid of the mess and that'll probably just stay there but I don't think that I'll be able to do that before the video goes out so and this floor is terrible anyways the dishwasher is full with clean dishes so I had to put those away and of course put all my dirty dishes in there and I have to scrub my sinks and here is the backsplash that was all over my kitchen. And over here, over here you can see that I did it already. I, let's remove that. I was never really happy with this corner. This is how it was yet since we moved in. And I just literally plunked it there and I was planning to redo it. Never got to it. And it's been a year and a half. So it's now time to redecorate I guess by the way this contact paper or this wall backsplash is actually contact paper so I'm going to be taking that out as you can see it's it's kind of coming down in places and the corner was is kind of getting loose I don't know can you see that well or not but it needs to just be redone and it's not really my style I just wanted a fresh clean look in here and I think the marble over there gives it a much um, cleaner look in here and the cabinets were a really really dark brown um, they just had an oil they never were stained and varnished they just had an oil on them so we when we moved in here we painted the cabinets white and now I think this checker just makes it really busy it, I'm, I'm not sure if I can do this without Joseph's help it I had to pull the stove forward and clean probably clean behind it because who knows what is back there but yeah, I might need his help to get this wallpaper or this contact paper on because it is kind of hard to do it. So here are the rolls that I used. I just picked them up from Target, I believe. And so, yeah, that's what I'm using. I'll have way more than I need. I had no idea how much I needed. I just got them because I thought they looked nice and didn't take measurements. But, so yeah, that's a little bit of my kitchen. Up here, I want to do something different up here. There used to be a microwave here, but Joseph added this shelf in here so that I can have my cups, mugs, and such stuff up here. And these baskets, this one has my supplements, and that one has the extra supplements, and then that one has coffee stuff in it. But I don't like these bottles here. I think if those would be down, it'll look a lot cleaner and neater up there. And so I'm going to take that down. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but I'll find a place for it somewhere. And as you can see above me in the fridge here, it's terrible. I don't know. Can you see that? It's kind of where we store our um, 
baked goods and stuff up there and then that's our dried tea and all the empty buckets and so I need to either I need to either find something nice to put it in like baskets or something or do something different I'm not sure what I want to do anyway so yeah let's get started let's go do the dishes first and then from there we can no let's do the floors first and then from there we can go do dishes okay not as bad as I figured it would be I mean it's gross but so this is how the stove looks that is pretty terrible I remember now that I never cleaned it before we put it back after doing the flooring pretty pretty nasty I'm sure it looks worse than it did then even I remember that it was nasty then but I didn't have time to clean it and you probably can't even see but it's pretty grainy Hang on. Oh my stars, you guys. This is terrible. Look at all that dirt. We, when we moved in here, we changed all the flooring and everything. There was carpet throughout the whole house. By the way, which makes me think, do you guys want me to put a video together or, um, yeah, do a kind of, like, tour of my house of before and after? When we moved in, um... Well, before we moved in, we had two weeks to get this house painted and tore the carpeting out throughout the whole house except our bedrooms. Would you guys want to see that kind of thing? And also of us moving in. I don't have really videos. I'm more just pictures. But would that interest you? And then a tour of how it is now? Tell me in the comments below if you would really like to see that.
So pretty crazy fact. <laughs> when we moved in here, we had painted a lot of this kitchen. As I had said earlier, this kitchen was um, a really dark red, and I painted it white. And here, I don't know if you can see very well. Yeah, you can see. It should have been painted at least another, probably another coat or two, um, just to get it all covered because of it being such a dark paint. Um, but I didn't want to, and my husband didn't finish the shelf till way later, and that shelf right there, and <laughs> I told him, he told me that I should paint another layer or two, and I told him that I'm so tired of painting. I was 10 weeks along with DeAndre, and I was having morning sickness. I did not feel good, but I was, I had to do the painting. Anyways, and so I told him that when I ever get to it, I'll do it, but nobody's going to notice because Who's gonna look behind my fridge? She's gonna pull out my fridge and look behind it. I mean, I told him, I remember clearly telling him that <laughs> it's none of their business. And if they wanna look back there, they probably shouldn't. So I guess you shouldn't look back there. <laughs> I think it's funny now. It's crazy. I never thought I would film a video and put it in public that I didn't paint behind my fridge very well. Anyways, it's crazy, crazy windy outside and raining like crazy. That's probably what you hear if you hear something. Last time when I did this, um, I tried just to cut the pieces off to size and it just didn't work very well because nothing is straight in this house and that includes the backsplash. So it didn't really work to cut off just a straight line and so I'm going to try this time to just put it on and then maybe take a knife or something and just cut the edges where I think it should be cut. I don't know. It's kind of tricky to put it on, you just kind of have to let go of the perfectionist side, I guess. Because <laughs> it definitely won't be perfect and that's fine, I'm fine with that.
slight bit of a problem. This is quite complicated if it's not straight. Um, I think these cabinets are a little bit higher than those cabinets. <laughs> and so if I pull this up so that it's high enough for here, then I have this big crinkle here to deal with. And I don't think I can work it in anywhere because um, it's just too much. So what I'm probably going to have to do is just cut down here and start over by these cabinets because I can't have a crease either. I mean, that wouldn't look very well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Kind of sucks because I wanted it to all be one flowing piece, but I don't think it's going to work out that way. So let's cut that through then. I shouldn't have done that. I should have cut it straight off of here. But now I have that little gap now that I need to trim around. Ah, live and learn, right? Um, this top part right here along the top there's a strip going through here that my um, contact paper wasn't wide enough to cover. So I'm going to have to fill that in, but that's fine. I'll just see if I can cut off a strip and put it back up underneath there and nobody will notice, right? You won't notice, right? Tell me you won't. <laughs> with a similar problem. If you can see here, see? It's not even. Oh, it's so annoying. Also, you can reach right up into my cupboard. There's my stuff up in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is called old house style. So, now I get to make a decision again if I want to cut down through there the person that did it just before me cut both places back here and then also over here where I'm trying to figure out if I want to cut or not. Um, I don't know. It's getting more complicated and more complicated. I'm thinking of maybe just stopping here <laughs> and letting my husband finish. That wouldn't be very nice because I did the fun part. And mine was like mostly a straight shot and underneath this corner cabinet is going to be seriously hard. It's not going to be fun. I messed up a little bit on that corner over back there behind me too. And it's not completely back into the corner and if it's not hard against the wall it will just come loose easier. And I didn't do it very well. You don't notice it but I do. <laughs> and I am back. I just shut my video off and I just finished the rest of it because 
back in the corner with such awkward positions <laughs> that I just, I almost have to crawl up and lay underneath or, I don't know, I barely could get to it. It's so deep. And anyways, I am now done with this except for cutting off, um, I need to cut off all these air, these things down here and I am going to take one of these strips and put it up here underneath the vent or the hood. I'm going to fill it in with one of those. So that's what I'm doing now. I have this one strip that's practically loose. I just need to pull it off. And I had an interesting happening. See this right here? You see that? I was cutting out by the outlet and it all of a sudden sparked and these knives are metal I couldn't believe it it scared me like crazy and yeah the other side doesn't have a whole lot but this side kinda got nicked I guess this knife is junk but that was scary I didn't know that they would do that I didn't know that it would be hot so I wasn't really worried so if you do this project be really careful when you cut in there. That was kind of scary. Now I want to get the outlet covers back on and then I'm ready to decorate. Who's here with me? Are you still enjoying the video? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you are because you are my real heroes if you're still with me because this is kind of a tedious job but it was kind of fun. I enjoy this kind of thing.
or the kids are awake from their naps. <laughs> they decided to what? Walk around in shoes that blink. DeAndre's, why don't yours go on? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> DeAndre's might have just died. I don't know. They're actually new shoes. <laughs> Way too big for each of them. His are too big for him and hers are too big for her. <laughs> Look at the greatest thing out of them. It's after supper and we are tired. Joseph came home around 6.30, quarter till 7 from work. He had a long day and we ate supper and I put the dishes away mostly and then we went out to the garden and we pulled all the weeds in the garden and I just come back in and it is almost 8.30 so we're tired and I think I'm going to pause this project for the time being. I'm going to just put everything back to where it was and wait to decorate till um, the next video. I think I'm going to have to do it in two parts because I didn't even get to the shelf or anything. I am going to just call this quits, I think, for today. And So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. And yeah, make sure that you have your notification bell turned on. There's a little notification bell right beside the subscribe button. And if you tap on that, that'll notify you when I post a new video so you don't miss that one. So stay tuned till next Monday and you will get to see the next video of part two. Can you say bye? Bye. Can you say thumbs up? Thumbs up. There you go, thumbs up. Say subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.